fusion shot. Attaboy! Everybody stand! Order guide you! Shine down! Off we go! Only coming through! To fit this is order. Stabilize. Who wants some of this? Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. <laughs> that's right. Taki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yo, what's up? Illusion shattered. I'm going in. Let's light it. Yeah, a boy. Can't catch. Me. There is no escape. Solidify. Let's roll. Gather. I will have order. Pull in. Press the advantage. Don't waste my time. But give up. This is order. Advance! Your life is mine! Long the chunk! It's nothing! <laughs> Charge! Everyone on me! I will have order!
stabilize. Astra Thank you for comp
I will have order. Fall in! Press the advantage! Order guide you. Solidify! Advance! Give up! I will have order. Would you care to see?
feeling a little off. Everyone on me! Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots, I have a few references. Stabilize! New punching bag. One man's. This is good. Solidify. Fall in. Don't waste my time. I 
will have order. Gather. Hunting back. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across Lior tend to stay a while, so it is where many things come to settle. Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Yeah! 
stabilize. Oh, it fits. Give up. It's nothing. This is order. Everyone on me. Certainly worth the extra mile. Solidify! Charge! Rally! Don't waste my time. Give up. Delves into destiny. Written in the stars. Order guide you.
In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. Ah, the champ champions to Of course. With an expert mentor like Han if even the
We still have some time before the qualifiers start. Maybe we should spend some more time training our fun guy.
We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees.
Bowser are about to kick off. Elhingen's giving an opening speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nilus Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport, not a fight to the death. <laughs> I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Elhingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Caltilia, on the other hand... Uh... Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Ugh, good thing Alhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. Though they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast! Don't blink or you'll miss it! 
Don't be nervous, Bongohead. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. <laughs> Fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before, and it's super fun. That beast tamer and her fungi work together pretty well, almost as well as the two of us.
great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongo Head. Imagine if we could just look at him and he'd know exactly what to do. That would be amazing. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Nico and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knocked the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first-round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game. All right, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock. Let's get to it! The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time! Snack time! Wait a second. Aren't we here for training, though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send mitochondrials flying. Would you gladly comply? looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and he have a very strong bond. But that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not.
Yeah, it takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Trolly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, huh, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology. The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship. I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Paimon wants to get to know the real bongo head, too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzaro when you're knee-deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> Right. Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Bongo Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. Uh, why isn't it responding? Hmm, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help. Hurry! Let's go check it out! What are you doing here? Hania? You saved the children? I happened to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! 
Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Pala Cup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. I'm putting an end to this debacle, first chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro One! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks! You're clearly enjoying the event! I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Wait! Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Oh my, such a standout personality, and with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Nico, Layla, Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few, and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment. But some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures. No matter what Ania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to. You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifiers should be over now. 
We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. Even if an antique is priceless, 
The happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace.
There are a lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Hyman thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information! You can write whatever you want! That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritalaha Starshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta Darshan. to emerge to students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Charge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trilly Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get twirly whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please get them to look into what Bongo Head likes too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishing House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please, do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing.
Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't allow you to beat me. Don't get too cocky, Soka! We won't go easy on you! Shukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to hook back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face!
Oh? Did she look crestfallen? And say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals? Then curl up on the ground and start wailing? will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? students and they were really keen i got a reply with the information i needed within just a few hours i've tried making a few different snacks for twirly whirly based on the information they gave me but it didn't seem to like any of them hmm. maybe i used some of the wrong ingredients or something so then I made a new, improved list, and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, oh, I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. So I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious. But the opponents have gotten stronger too. So, the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trolly Whirly some more if I wanna have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? Don't turn us into scary evil bad guys. Don't worry, little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much. Oh, you guys are the best. This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Ah, oh, thanks again. 
Hey, it's our pleasure. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel, The Secret Investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? Check out the fungi power up place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees.
In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it.
Investigating, we can go buy all those ingredients from the almighty merchant Leela mentioned. Then we'll come back and compete in the next round. This all looks like regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. Like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. Can I 
expert to analyze these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go buy Lilo's stuff first. You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, uh, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. All right, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. said that this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant, yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, how did you know? 
Wait, Dory? <sighs> so you're the almighty merchant Layla mentioned? Why, so surprised. Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. <sighs> Guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, 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 whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things from me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far, no takers. They're also taking up space, so I think I'll just give them to you. Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. But they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miko take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. A 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Huh? Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? I still feel kind of uneasy about all this, but we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Kautilia really is plotting something, we'll expose him in front of everyone during the ultimate trial.
In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. Freeze them, Gusto Frost Dolls.
Hi guys, how are you doing today? Alright, today we'll be talking about Putao leaks and update to, for the rerun. Okay, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. So sorry, I'm getting killed out here. I'm AFK. So if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you want to support me for free, please subscribe to my other channel. I left the link in the description. Alright, sorry, I was AFK because I'm packing. Alright, so... So, with the recent update, so it's been like long time since uh, Hutao reran so a lot of patches and also uh, the leak about Hutao dying and will no longer be uh, having reruns uh, is wrong hope so most likely it's wrong but <clears throat> we have confirmed leaks that Hutao will rerun in 3.4 okay so that's the information that we have for now Hutao will rerun in 3.4 but it's not sure whether she will be on the first phase or the second phase. So that's it. So keep uh, tune in and uh, still stand by. So I will update you when I get more information on this channel. All right. So that's it for today. So what do you think, guys? So are you saving for Hutao rerun? Well, me, I already got C1 Hutao. I got lucky one the 50-50 and also one the the epitomized path. Uh, the first PT with. Uh, <clears throat> Staff of Homa. Uh, before that, I was using like a death match and a Pyro Bennett team pump. But with the Homa, I no longer use Bennett. I only have like uh, C6 Toma. All oh, right. Uh, and uh, either a New Comp Mona or a Vape Comp uh, Sing Chow Comp or a New Comp Mona. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. So that's it. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Are you saving for Hu Chao? All right, or you're getting enough consolations, or yeah, or getting her weapon. Have a great day. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats. Hey Rayla, you're looking well today. And Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? She left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Could be. Miku has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best.
It's you, the uncultured swine of the Nilut pup. Hey, you pup. The way you don't on your funga. Greatest beast tamer of all. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. <laughs> Ugh, it's you, the uncultured swine of the Nilut Pala Cup. Hey, you potty mouth, what's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi, it's pathetic. What a joke. You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. Greatest beast tamer of all? You keep... <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> the way you do Greatest beast tamer of all. You keep. Let's finish this with a wonderful look. be happening. I trained my fungi non-stop. Maybe I should have been harder on them. <sighs> well, we beat him, but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. <sighs> mm. 
traveler, Paimon. I made it through. That's amazing, Layla! You reached your goal! You won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah. Somehow, beast teamers like him make me feel a little... Uh, yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like, based on a vague impression, and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it, too, if she knew. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies, when they could have been friends. Hmm. It's not just his loss, either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Time to see who's the strongest fungi! Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head! Loser buys dinner for the winner! Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. Eh, whatever. Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. We should look for a new investment. 
Mora doesn't grow on trees. Feeling nervous, but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! <laughs> on the best show I've seen so far, Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank 
thank you all. Trilly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent, and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that! Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Your match is over, too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... ...to be beaten by Hania. What? Do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's... not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro One, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you! Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now! Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed! Layla, it seems like you're onto something! Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight! You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? Oh, 
My, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. How did you find me here? We follow Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet will be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Uh, what is it? These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi posed to us. So... that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi! Anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together! It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the Orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a Wisdom Orb, you're gonna start exp- Wait! Lyra's been coughing a lot lately! Could that be because of the Wisdom Orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Kaltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Kaltilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. 
guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro-1. It's time to say goodbye to the past. That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hernia in the final match! mentioned something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Like, research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew, this section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms. Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw them on the documents Dory gave us. Alright, let's put them side by side, go through carefully, and try to figure out what's written in these notes. A capturing device? And a withering potion? So that's how it went down. ...of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fun guy. Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Cautilia's invention either, He's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own! He's a big fat liar! Why is Cautilia so eager to get people to use the Wisdom Orb anyway? We 
We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop Big Girl and Caltulia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Oh, don't worry, Bongo Head. Paimon knows you're not gonna turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow! You're getting smarter! Paimon didn't even notice. <gasps> Does that mean Bongo Head is hanging out with us by choice right now? See, see, Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't gonna lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along. Oh, Ania did make one good point, though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. Hmm. Paimon was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? It's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Cautilia to the Academia? True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. 
then we should get Ohinga to help us expose Keltilia for the fraud he is! Osmanthus wine tastes the same. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory?
Osmanthus. 